behind that cellar hall, right in front of us is the quarry. So those, see these two big chunks of stone right there? Those are part of the same stone that have been broken apart by quarrying methods that are typical for the 18th and 19th centuries. If you come real close, you can actually put your fingers into the holes where the quarry marks are. So there's one here, there's one here, there's another one here, there's another one here, and they match the ones right here. So there's one here, one here. In the back of this, there's even one where they, they were getting ready to pop off another piece of stone, and they never finished it, but there's a hole. The entire hole is there. So and that stone there has quarry marks all over it. So all of these, these, these um, squared off stones, that's not natural. That's all done by, by the people here who are quarrying stone. Then if you walk into the foundation, you see some of the quarried stones. So, and it's sort of cool. Um, there's a, you know where the, the great, the big pyramids in Egypt are, right? And for years, archaeologists wonder where did they get those big stones from? And nobody noticed the fact that there was this, 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 this big depression over by the side of the pyramid, like 100 feet away. And when they dug that out, they found the quarry was right there. So, you know, it was like 100 feet away. You move the stones from here to there. Well, this, they were doing the same thing. Why move the stones far? The quarry's right here. And what's going to happen is we'll have the sign is supposed to go right again where this stick is. So you'll take this trail. It's got a beautiful view of the two quarry stones. And Connie, I promise, if I forget, you'll email me, right? Right. To send you... The pictures. These pictures. So, yeah. Right. And on this one, too, we even have a person sitting on... In other words, you know, semi-transparent person mm -hmm. sitting right on top of that stone.